Hello, Christ Community Church. My name is Brother Ramon Lopez, and I will be sharing with you out of Psalms 119, verse 49 to 56. And here's what it says. Remember your word to your servant in which you have made me hope. This is my comfort in my affliction that your promise gives me life. The insolent utterly deride me, but I do not turn away from your law. When I think of your rules from of old, I take comfort, O Lord. Hot indignation seizes me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my sojourning. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and keep your law. This blessing has fallen to me that I have kept your precepts. And, you know, sometimes we go through things in life where uh, we're, we have trials, you know, and sometimes our own personalities tend to rub people the wrong way and you know, we get judged by our past sometimes and, you know, we feel like, man, nobody wants to talk to me or nobody wants to. Sometimes it even happens in the church. But the interesting thing about this passage is that regardless of what you're going through, regardless of how much you're misunderstood or regardless of, 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 of people already judging you based on past mistakes that you've made, whether it's out in the community or whether it's in the church, you can find comfort in the Word of God. And... In, in, in Psalms 119, every, every passage has this Hebrew alphabet letter right before the next passage. And this one has the word Zayin. I don't know if it's in, in some of your Bibles, but that Hebrew alphabet letter Zayin, it's the seventh letter in the Hebrew alphabet. And I looked it up and it has three meanings. It means crown, it means a weapon, and it means sustaining. And it's interesting because in Psalms 103 verse 4, it says that, you, you, crown, you crown us with loving kindness and compassion. God crowns us with loving kindness and compassion. But it also means that God is royalty and His Word is royalty. Can you imagine that, that His Word is royalty? Because it's the very Word of God. But it also means weapon. And to us, God's Word is a weapon. It's a weapon against the enemy. It's a weapon against the lies. It's also a weapon of whatever people are saying behind our backs who won't come and speak to us directly. It's a weapon that can remove the lies, cut down the, the, the judgments of other people, and, it's, and it reveals to us who we really are in the eyes of God. But it's all, the word also means sustaining, and God's word sustains us. And I want you to know this right now. The only thing that matters is what God's Word says about who you are as a child of God and what God thinks about you. You will never please everybody and you'll rub people the wrong way. Even your own personality might rub someone the wrong way and they may talk about you. Pray for them, but find comfort and strength in the Word of God because it is your weapon, it sustains you, and God has crowned us with loving kindness and compassion. Have a blessed day.